And Rossi, oh, look at that. Nationwide, coast to coast, Britney fans. Right, I'm surrounded by Britney fans. They are crazy out here. I, I know the feeling. They love Britney. Feeling. Yeah, I, what's I'm the question sure you do. Go ahead. All right, we got a question from John. Brittany, how are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> good job, John. Good, good question, John. What one, what one thing do you need to bring from home with you on tour with you? Uh, I bring my Todd Oldham sweats, and I have a cute little dog that I'm going to bring with me, Mickey. So. Yeah. Oh, what kind of cute dog do you have? It's a Shih Tzu. Ah, it's a Shih Tzu, John. Mm -hmm. All right, buddy. Thanks for the question. We appreciate it. I'm going to do... Uh, this is fun. We're just bouncing all over the place with these things. Let's do a text message. By the way, this is how you text message on one of these cool. little cute phones. Anytime, feel free, right? Cool. Venus in Minnesota, what is your all-time favorite song, Britney Spears? All-time all favorite song. Love song, hip-hop song. Prince Kiss, definitely. Prince Kiss, the all-time yes. favorite. Did you see Prince perform at the Grammys? I didn't. You I didn't wish I would have seen it. Yeah, he was Sad. great. Amazing performer, obviously. 888-567-RYAN, nationwide. Amanda, is it Amanda in Florida on live with us? Go ahead, you're out with Britney Spears. Hi, Britney. Um, um, I want to say I love your music and you're a big inspiration to me. And I have a question. What are your pet peeves and guiltiest pleasures? Your pet peeves? All right, well, let's break it down. You've got your pet peeves first. Yes. What are your pet um, peeves? You can't stand what? Uh, I don't like when people, like, start talking a lot. When they talk a lot? Yeah, when they just start talking a lot, and you're just like, okay. That, that kind of gets on my nerves sometimes. They're just babbling, and they don't yeah, know Yeah, and they're... my, I, I bite my nails a lot, too, so that's bad. Like, I can't stand when I do that, but I'm getting better. Yeah, they look pretty freshly manicured, yeah, I would know. Yeah, they look... <laughs> you know, I got an eye for that thing. <laughs> hey, uh, Amanda, are you still with us, or is she gone? Because you know what? I know you're calling from Florida. I have some tickets if you want to go see Britney Spears there in Florida when she's on her tour. So if you just stay right there, don't go anywhere. I'm going to hook you up with uh, a pair of tickets. Let me show you what they look like. These are what tickets look like, and uh, these are coming your way, okay? Thank you so much for calling, and thanks for the question. Let's go to Tanya right now on Live with Britney Spears. Go ahead, Tanya. Hey, Britney, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Hi, Ryan. Hi, how are you? Um, Britney, I heard you were producing a movie based on the book that you wrote with your mother. I was wondering how that was going, and if you could please tell my friend Stacy hello. She's watching. <laughs> hello, Stacy. How are you? Actually, the movie is doing really well. One of my, um, I just saw a clip of it in the dressing room, and it is... Very heartfelt. The girl that is um, playing the role of Holly is amazing, and it's very, very cool. So it's coming along. Awesome. I can't wait to see it. Hey, you want to go see uh, Britney Spears in Detroit, not far from you? Oh, my gosh. I would, would love Would you like it. that? I, I'm I gonna would send love it. Two tickets coming your way, okay? Thank Hang you. on the line. Don't go anywhere. Spears with us live on air, coming to you from Hollywood, and can, let's go to Rossi one more time in New York. Those folks have been hanging out for a while hey, in the cooler weather. Ryan. Rossi, we appreciate it. Who do you have? We've got April here. April's a huge Britney Spears fan, of course, as we all are. April, what do you got? Um, Britney, I love and respect the person you are, and my question is, if you could live anywhere in the world, where would you live? Anywhere in the world? Live anywhere you want. Ooh. If you could live anywhere in the world. Now, we got to break it down. Do we want to stay in the States? Do you want to go? I mean, we I could think, go to the Italian um, Riviera. I think Spain. Spain. I love Madrid. It's beautiful there. I love it there. So it would be Spain. Yes. Now you can't ever go there I'm because uh, you're still <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, thank you very She's much. She's Spanish, so she loves that. All right, maybe you guys run into each other in Madrid sometime. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for the question. Um, a lot of other emails, and I'll just, <clears throat> without specifically bringing up anybody, I'll, I'll just generalize, but the new CD, mm -hmm. In the Zone, Huge records coming off, huge singles coming off of that album. Uh, congratulations, she set a record, by the way, four. First time ever. I know you're going to get, get shy. First time ever from a female artist. Amazing. What, what does In the Zone mean to you? Because these CDs are really chapters in your life, aren't they? Yeah, I think um, In the Zone really just means when, when I'm dancing and I'm on stage, it's like this, um, or even acting for that instance, it's just like you go into this... Um, mode, I can't even explain it, that you just kind of 
you're in and uh, it's like no one can even you're you're there with people but no one can even really touch you it's just you're very it's like locking yourself in a room and nobody can break down that door maybe so something like that but, but, but that's that, that that's you know it's really metaphorically speaking with the song me against the music though because that's how i feel i think our generation we a lot of times like we go to clubs and we dance mm -hmm. and we just um, we battle each other and it's like this type of zone that we go through so and toxic from that cd is coming up live with britney spears on our courtyard in just a second <laughs> But um, another, about a million emails about uh, Valentine's Day. People just saying, hey, tell Brittany I want to be her Valentine. So I figured we would wish you a very good Valentine's Day with a nice heart. That's a real reason. I don't know what your plans are. Thank you. But there are uh, three million people that would be happy to spend the weekend with you. Okay. All right? Thank you, guys. This is sweet. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank, Thank you for being so here. Much. You're Thank welcome. You. What's in here? I know, I'm like, what, what is this? Let's just Does check it, it open? Out. Oh my god! Oh yeah. We're gonna have Here's to have some one. chocolates we'll pass yes, out. Yes, we've got to have one. Alright, we're gonna have some of these. Brittany's gonna get set. She takes the stage in a couple of minutes. Toxic coming up.